Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd and welcome back to another episode of our NCAA 14 Kentucky Wildcat Dynasty Mode Series. So we are currently 7-3 and three on the year, going on a massive winning streak late in the season. We're hoping to keep that up. We are now ranked number 20th in the country. I believe we were 20th last week. We are still ranked number 20. Hopefully we can move up as we take on the Georgia Bulldogs. They are 6-4 and four coming into this ballgame. So let's go ahead, jump straight into the commentary. First play from scrimmage. We hand it off to Boone Williams. He goes pretty much nowhere on that carry. Now it is second and ten. Patrick Tolles is going to drop back. We're going to fire Williams, but he only gets a gain of two. So now third and eight. Tolles is lobbing this one up for the corner route, but this football will sail out of bounds, and we go three and out to start off this ball game. So that's going to bring on the Georgia Bulldogs offense. Nick Chubb is going to lead them out here. Sophomore running back in the second play from scrimmage. They're going to end up throwing the ball. This is Ramsey looking, and he will end up being brought down for a sack. So now it is going to be third and 17 for the Bulldogs. Ramsey drops back again. He's throwing this one down the field, and this football will fall incomplete. So both teams go three and now on the first possessions. Now we're taking over near midfield right here. This is Boom Williams with a nice little double juke that will allow him to get a gain of about six yards on that play. Second and four now. We hand it off to Boom again, and this time he will end up picking up a first down with that nice run. So we go right back to him for a third consecutive play, and this time he will pick up another gain of seven yards. Second and three now. Patrick Tolles is going to look to his right. He's going to throw it to Daryl Long, who makes the reception. He will also pick up a first down on that play. First and ten now. Tolles ends up being brought down for a sack. We try to roll out to the left. That is a nice play by the Bulldogs defensive end. So now it is second and 20. We hand it off to Boom Williams. He will get a lot of those yards right back. Another gain of seven yards. Third and 12 now for Kentucky. We're looking for the out route, but this football will fall incomplete. We will have to settle for a field goal instead. This one is up. This one is good. This game now is three to nothing. But here come Georgia handing off to Nick Chubb. He's going to find a little bit of room down the left side. Break out of that one, but two tackles. That is going to be a first down for Georgia. Then the next play, they hand it off to Chubb again. This time to the right side. He breaks another tackle, and Nick Chubb's going to take this one down the sideline to the 30 yard line. So two back to back huge plays from Georgia. Right here, they hand it off to Keith Marshall. He's going to stiff arm a defender, and he will be brought down after a gain of six yards. But right here, Bryce Ramsey dropping back. He's looking for the corner route. He's going to find his man Davis, who makes the reception. And Reggie Davis is in the end zone for a touchdown. So Georgia is going to take a lead. Seven to three here in the ball game. But right here, we're going to hand it off to Boom Williams on second to four. He's going to find a little bit of room to run, and he will take this one into Georgia territory. Two plays later in the second and ten, we hand it off to Boom again. He's breaking some tackles, and this one will be a first down for Kentucky. So we go right back to Boom. And he's going to find room to run again. Will be brought down from behind, but he still picks up a gain of nine yards. Second to one now. We hand it off to Boom Williams. He's picking up a first down, and that will give us inside, put us inside of the red zone. Right here we go with the jet sweep to Ryan Timmy. He's going to take this to the outside. This one will be a first down as well. A gain of five yards. We are now inside of this 10-yard line. Second to go right here. We're looking for the slam route, and we're going to find Ryan Timmons for a six-yard touchdown reception. So we are back on top, leading this ball game 10 to 7 at this point. Now after we force a three now from Georgia, we pick up right here 240 remaining in the half, and we're going to find Garrett Johnson on the comeback route. Now on first and 10, we go with a triple option, but we get brought down in the backfield, end up losing three yards on that play. So now it is second and 13 for Kentucky. Patrick Tolles looking to his left, and this one will be intercepted, and we are not going to be able to catch him. This one will be a pick six. Georgia is back up on top, 14 to 10, under two minutes remaining here in the first half. And we definitely need to try to get some points here to at least try to make this game closer or possibly take the lead going into the second half. Right here, we're throwing their deep down the field, and this is going to be Dorian Baker, who comes up with a fantastic reception. That one will total 44 yards. Now it is second and four right here. Patrick Tolles is going to try to step up in the pocket, but he will end up being brought down for a sack. So now it is third and six for the Wildcats. We hand it off to Boom Williams. He's going to end up picking up a first down for us, and he will take this one to the 20 yard line before being tackled out of bounds. Two plays later, it is second and 13. Tolles goes with a play fake. He breaks out of his sack. He's rolling out to his right, keeping his eyes down the field. He will throw this one in the end zone, and that is going to be Garrett Johnson, who comes up with the 20. Three yard touchdown reception. We are back on top, you guys, and that is going to take us to halftime. So we are leading this game 
17 to 14. Look at that time of possession. It's absolutely crazy. But Georgia's going to get the football first to start off the second half. This is going to be Nick Chubb. He will end up losing three yards on that play. Second and 13 now. Patrick, um, Bryce Ramsey, excuse me. He's going to complete this one to Reggie Davis for a gain of five. But they're still looking at a third and eight right here. Ramsey drops back. He completes it to Nick Chubb. But this one is way short of that first down marker. So they will go three and out. We will go three and out. So now Georgia has the football once again. Reggie Davis comes up with that five-yard reception right there. Third and four, they hand off to Nick Chubb. And he looks like he is short, but how they will, however, give him a first down. Second and seven, they hand it back up off to Nick Chubb. He will break out of a tackle. He will fall forward. That will be a gain of four yards. Third and three, they go with a fullback dive. And look at this, another close first down for Georgia. Now the very next play, Ramsey has plenty of time, but he's going to throw this one deep down the field, and he's going to find Mitchell, who comes up with a 51-yard touchdown reception. Just like that, the Bulldogs are back up 21-17, but right here, Boom Williams with a nice hard run right there. He gets a gain of eight. That's going to be a first down for the Wildcats. Now the next play, we hand it off to Mikel Horton. He's going to take this one right up the middle. He will also pick up a gain of eight yards. But now it is third and four right here. We hand off to Boom Williams. He goes absolutely nowhere. But with five minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter, we do elect to punt it. And now we need to play a little bit of defense. Nick Chubb gets the carry right here. He's only going to gain one yard on that play. Right here, Rams is going to throw it quickly to Malcolm Mitchell on the receiver screen. This one will only be a gain of about two yards. So now it is third and seven. Rams, he's dropping back. He completes it to the tight end. But AJ Stance will come up, make a huge stop right there. So now we get the ball four minutes to go in this ball game. We are down by four points. Right here we go with the speed option. That clearly does not work. So now it is second and 11. Patrick Toll's dropping back. He's looking for Garrett Johnson who makes a reception. And now it is going to be third and one, you guys. We're going to hand it off to Boone Williams up the middle. He will end up picking up a first down and more. A gain of nine on that carry. The very next play, it is first and 10. Toll's drops back. He's going to almost complete this pass to Ryan Timmons, but he cannot hold on to the football. Second and 10 now, we're going to find Dorian Baker, who makes a three-yard reception, but now it is third and seven. The pressure is getting to us. We end up throwing it to C.J. Conrad, but he will end up losing yards, and we do decide to actually punt the football. So that was a, a huge decision for us. We decided to go ahead and punt it and need to come up with a stop. On second down right here, we come up with a deflection. So now it is third and nine. We need to come up with another stop. They're throwing it down the field, and look at this catch by Malcolm Mitchell, you guys, a huge play for Georgia in double coverage. This one could have forced a punt, but instead, they are going to get a first down, and they are going to be in field goal range. Now we're bringing everybody. We know they're going to run it. Nick Chubb breaks out of one tackle, but he's unable to break out of the rest as everybody was there to bring him down. He loses seven on that play. Second and 17. Now the handoff to Nick Chubb again. And this time he will only gain one yard. So third and 16. We use both timeouts. We need to stop here. They decide to throw it instead of running. They want to throw this one deep down the field, and this one will be a touchdown. 28. 17 is the score. 114 remaining in the ball game. Things are not looking good. Right here, we're looking at a third and 19. Patrick Toes drops back. He gets hit as he throws it, and this football will be intercepted. And that is going to be the ball game, you guys. They're going to end up taking this one 28 17. We lose our fourth game of the season, and our massive winning streak is now over. More than likely, we will also not be ranked coming into next week as we were only ranked 20th. Also unranked team here in Georgia, and we should fall out of the top 25. But taking a look at the stats, Patrick Toles had 119 yards passing, two touchdowns, we had the two interceptions. Boone Williams had 114 yards on the ground, but really nothing out of our receivers, nothing out of our pass game. And then when we needed a defense to stop the most, we were unable to get it. As Bryce Ramsey had 177 yards for Georgia, three passing touchdowns, only one interception. And then Nick Chubb had 55 yards on the ground as well. But that is everything I got for this episode, you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think this loss will drop us out of the top 25? It looks as if it probably will do that, but let me know that in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave this video a like. It will help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.